it's just a huge disappointment and I never want to see it again. So if you are thinking to purchase the Baja board, S2 a tracks You should definitely check this video before you do it because it's definitely not worth it. If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Medpack and if you love EUCs, PVs and everything that have AE of electricity, this is the place for you. And today I have once again Zach that you saw it on a previous video where we was testing the Endeavor S. I was really excited with the idea to have the Baja board and we talk about it, yeah? Yeah, we did. Uh, since you, you purchased, I asked you, can I test it and do a review on the channel, correct? Yeah. And um, even before he knew, we was just talking before we do this video, I contact Baja board to ask them for um, a discount code for you guys. And obviously, if you was purchasing with that discount, I was going to get some commissions from all those sales. Okay, and that's the way that I can survive and basically maintain the channel. After seeing everything that happens with, uh, with Zach, all the bad experience, and I definitely, I'm not offering you any discounts, nothing, because it makes no sense. I don't think that is worth it. How much you spend? I think in totals, with the import, probably three and a half thousand. Pounds, not Pounds, dollars. Yeah. <laughs> because majority of the audience is from the uh, United States. Before we even talk about this, why you purchased the Baja board? What was making you buying this one? Well, when I first saw on YouTube, the YouTube videos from, from Baja board about the, the G4, G4X, how powerful it was and where it could go, I immediately wanted one. But I decided to wait because I wasn't interested in all the complaints that I was reading online about how often you had to change the belts. It wasn't an easy process. You need to be into the DIY to do it. So I thought I'd just wait and hang about, see what comes up. And they brought they brought out this Atrax the gear drives. I thought that's perfect. Less maintenance, mm. no worries. I wanted the comfort, the form factor to get to work on the, our terrible roads in the UK. Not how it planned out. How long you wait for this board to arrive to you? I ordered it uh, almost immediately when, when they announced so, it was in March. March 2021. Yeah. yeah. When did you receive this skateboard? Because I think it's important also that everyone knows. It was one month ago. So it would have been last month, September, end of September. September 2021. So yeah. just to give you a bit the idea there was complaints about all the stuff but obviously i don't think that is the fault of baja board about that because there is a shortage of batteries everywhere that's, that's correct i will be showing you some footage not the best quality that you are used to see on the channel because i was just with my phone and just doing an insta story it was your basically your first ride with that was the, the first board. ride after i spent so many hours just just fixing it before i could even ride it yeah so what you fix so besides obviously on the front no that is on the back that's the back uh, yeah. you you've done a 3d printed because you didn't like it the quality I, of the I, cover I, there i didn't yeah? like uh, this exposed yeah. area so you you changed that what did you uh, change the, more on the board the main thing was fedex decided to drop it on its ass badger board kindly replaced uh, some parts for me to fix myself and that was good and yeah, very it was good. quite fast in the beginning what did you have to change more and obviously what came damage on the the package these two arms here yeah and these two arms here they were twisted and bent mm -hmm. and it it shifted it this way yeah so the bushings were completely pushed up against the shock absorber. It, it looked like FedEx had just held it up, gone, yeah, I'm so strong, I can hold this box, and then you go, boom, drop it. Yeah, nice one, FedEx. For me, it's strange that the board that cost 3,000 pounds with a drop, I, we don't know how, how high was yeah, that drop. No yeah. We'll never know, but I received plenty of electric scooters, electric skateboards, electric unicycles, I never had this issue. Uh, I had like um, a charger that was damaged, but besides that, I don't remember anything to happen to me. What happened is my charger was completely damaged, completely smashed, and for sure I'm showing you some photos. After that, obviously, you are affected. I think it was mainly an issue of packaging, lack of packaging. Yeah, because before also the Baja boards, it was coming in a wood box. Yeah. And uh, I remember because I saw that on the, um, on the channel of my good friend uh, Jay Boston, and I was like, "Whoa, an electric skateboard coming inside a wood box? Yeah. That's that's massive!" That and obviously, serious. you are buying something that costs you three thousand pounds. Yeah, the box was the same as another electric skateboard that cost one thousand. I think <laughs> the electric skateboard boxes are way better because it's completely covered in foam. Mm. But this is this was just an empty box, just wrapped to prevent scratches, yeah. but nothing at all to prevent impact. But in that moment this is just me and obviously we'll do another video where we'll put side by side and we'll compare build quality of something that you can buy basically three <laughs> in opposite that, that just one but in that moment I, we swapped some message in that time and i said to you maybe 
the arms are quite fragile. To bend yeah. so easily, yeah, yeah, yeah. they are quite fragile. And yeah. I'm sure that I'm showing you some footage now. The quality is not the, the best. This was the first ride of Zach with me. And I was just filming on Instagram. And suddenly you hit like... Just like jogging speed. <laughs> just like above walking speed. We and were already slowing down yeah. just to, just to maneuver so and for sure you guys i see it was not shocking against a bit, a bit of metal or whatever it was just a post of of wood straight away what happens Zach? immediately the the front bulkhead just went but this 3000 pounds skateboard was supposed to be an off-road Ex extreme off-road yeah yeah and, and then their videos they say that. they don't you don't see this bit maybe if you, you obviously you do if you buy it because in the instruction manual they put warnings not to do extreme off-road seriously yeah did you brought the papers with you no so uh, sadly what do you think that is happening because i don't think that vaja board was a bad company because like we was just saying you have the, the the boxing wood and if they had all this popularity it was because it was a good one yeah uh, otherwise, they was already gone for a long, long time. Yeah, this is just our opinion of the of the yeah. A tracks. And I think that here they really wanted to profit the maximum as possible, spending the minimum as possible, because we will do the comparison, like I said in another video. We but don't we don't know how how COVID has affected their financial situation. But yeah, well, that will have, have affect everyone. Yeah? yeah, yeah. Like you were saying, just grabbing this one. To here, and it's the first time they are side by side. You were saying, what about the arms? Just how thick and strong they are, and well constructed. And this is just what is it? I don't know. Flimsy. I found out that is really powerful, and obviously that is not even comparable to the Endeavor S. Let's be completely honest, okay? Definitely. Um, but obviously, also that's the reason why you are purchasing that. Yeah. Even if this is not the Vesk version, because I believe that the Vesk version is is much better than this one. This one, the riding experience, I really didn't like it because like. We, we talk about the Endeavor S. I don't like when the brakes are super aggressive on you. Yeah. And that you have a sensation like the Slick Revolution, that was the first skateboard that I own and that I tested, that until a certain point, it doesn't really happen anything on the, on the remote. And when you press it again, it's really aggressive. So if you are not careful, stop you like almost instantly. I had a bit more time ride, riding, riding the board than than Marco, me, for but sure. I felt like there wasn't enough initial bite for me, but as you hold it, the longer you hold it, the stronger they get, which is a good thing. I don't, I don't agree. I think it should be how you want it to be. How you move your finger should be how you want the brakes to happen, mm -hmm. not the board to control how you want the brakes to happen. Mm. Because he was telling me, and after I try it, and I felt that after that you release the brake, what happens with this one? When you accelerate, it's not like Vesk or even Hobby Wing, where it's current control and you have a smooth accelerator. It's speed control. Mm. So the position of your accelerator determines the exact speed of the board. If you release the accelerator even slightly, it will throw you into a braking mode because it's trying to, to reduce the speed instantly instead of smoothly like a Vesk or hobby wing. In defense of Baja board, I, I believe also they do that because it's really a devil, this skateboard. Yeah? It, it's so powerful, it's ridiculous. I don't think that you need all that power, in my opinion. No, um, but yeah, we have, they have many different modes. You can tune the power how you mm. want it. For it to break when you're using the accelerator, mm. when you're releasing the accelerator or going up and down the position in the accelerator can cause a braking effect. I think that's ridiculous. You, yeah. you, only the brake portion of the movement should break, not the acceleration portion. Another thing that we need to talk about it, it's the deck. <laughs> the deck. It comes with two sets of wheels, yeah? That's correct, yeah. <laughs> but just one, you can use it. It depends if, <laughs> if you're me, or maybe if you're someone like Marco. But by the way, I didn't have tried that. The feet, they was basically touching the tires, yeah. My feet, they don't touch the tires, but if it's Zach, he touch the tire. <laughs> Very easily. Of course, so, you can move your feet like this if you want to do a turn, but that's just ridiculous. Yeah, it's a, once again, you are losing yeah. the stability. Or you could put your feet forward yeah, like you, this, but then- On the suspension, but then you have, damage. <laughs> you have no ability to lean with your front foot, so you need to then move again and you're going to touch. So yeah, <laughs> that was the other thing. And another thing that I found out is even my feet, they are quite small, that it will do too much pressure on the front of my feet. Oh yeah, my feet were hurting after just two miles. And that's the thing, when you are purchasing skateboard with suspension, you are searching for something that gives you <laughs> comfort. I wanted the comfort, <laughs> I really did, but... And 
And yeah, the board doesn't give you that because of the shape of it. It seems that it was made for dwarfs. <laughs> Basically, just for my feet, that is size six. Concave is extremely aggressive. Mm. These flares at, at the end really cause some foot pain. Another thing that I noticed, besides obviously that he gets bent in that day that, that we was um, just riding for a bit, it's how thin is the metal underneath? It's, really thin. It's ridiculous. And I'll be putting side by side with the Endeavor so you guys can see the difference of thickness of the metal. It's, it's so, so thin on this one. Uh, I really didn't get it. Yeah, that's right. But obviously, in the opposite side, the Baja board have the antenna on the inside. It's not exposed like the Endeavor. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah. something that I really don't like on the Endeavor. It's a well-sealed unit, but you can twist it with your hand if you were to take it apart. Sorry if I'm laughing, because it was just saying before, and when you were tightening the, the screws, what happens? The chassis was bending. <laughs> exactly. So that's, that shows that it's really thin, the amount of metal that you have in there. Yep. And if you think that in the other side you have batteries, that if you hit some stones doing some off-road, you can damage them. In the end of the day, you have like a bomb clock inside your house, because if you damage one of the cells, you can have something in fire. I understand the idea of just one suspension in both, for them, for sure, it's cheaper. <laughs> but it's more, I think, of form factor, mm. the height. You don't have the extreme height yeah. of four. But you have here four suspensions and you don't have that. That's yet. correct. Yeah, they've done so, a great job there. <laughs> I understand when your you point. Give me this board, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. It depends on the Endeavor. If yeah. they send more, that's not the point of the video. Another thing that I found out, riding just those moments with the Baja board, in low speeds, I really felt that is too nimble for my taste. Because obviously you have one suspension, that controls the two tires. So it's not like going to their previous generation or going to the Endeavor S, even the previous generation of Endeavor S that they continue to have the same design that having one suspension per tire. When you change something in one tire anyway, it's always going to affect the other. Yeah, definitely. How you found out if you get the wobble, do you felt that was really stable? It was not stable enough? Low speed, uh, I can understand what you're talking about. Because it's, you have such huge 10 inch wheels, you feel like it, it's gonna tip over. Once you build up the speed, everything sort of tightens up and it, it feels okay. That was just my experience because like I said to you guys, I just tested for a bit yeah, I didn't and try it. Very long on it. You don't like the, the remote? I like the remote, to be honest. I don't like the form factor that is so big because if it's we put, big, yeah. you have the remote next to you, yeah? So this is the Baja board. I like it, the form factor, to be honest. It's you have a good screen, though. so that definitely something that I like. The plastic, it seems durable, but I don't like, I think they could have put like a coating, a rubber coating or something, yeah. but on the remote. Definitely here you can see that is on the cheap side on, on the on the Endeavor. Here at least they try to do something different, but obviously if you try to put on the pocket, it's not comfortable It's not going to happen. Yeah. People might think you've got a, a weapon in your pocket. <laughs> so when we talk about the controller, there is no information of what it is, but at least you have tried. I tried. I have a vest skateboard at home, the bound motor. M3. I know how is the experience of a Vesk. I know how is the experience of a Hobo Wing because it's the one that I tried the most. Yep. Majority of the Chinese boards you have that. But which control do you have here or do you think that is in here? Do you think that is the best? What they've done is they've picked an, an extremely popular Chinese controller. Mm. Most probably it's the Kelly controller. And back in the day when before we had these Hobby Wings and Vesk, you know, this, this Kelly controller is pumping out some serious power. Ridiculous power. Nothing was competing with it. And nowadays you have the Storm Core which does 18S. You have the you have tramper vests, single channel vests. They do 20s. The voltage that they can put through can completely outclass these controllers, in my opinion. I expressed this opinion to Bajaboard, and they didn't reply, but I put it out there anyway. Yeah. And uh, talking about replies, I need to really put this out, and why? Even if they wanted to work with me now, I couldn't work with Bajaboard. When I do my reviews, I do them, and if I bring them to you guys, is because I trust the skateboard or I trust whatever is the product that I'm bringing to the channel. And sometimes I give the opportunity to the company, listen, since you sent me this, I can't really do the video, but if you want me to do it, I'll be not saying the best things about it. Here the, is completely different. Baja Bord didn't send me this. He bought the Baja Bord. He spent yep. 3,000 pounds for it. And I had the opportunity to try it. But for me, the disgusting thing is all the process. So if you are seeing this video online, so you can be happy for Zach because he could get his money back. So let's talk about this disgusting thing. So if you purchase a Baja Bord, they will not do what? They will not refund you unless it is a manufacturing fault. Exactly. So if you, you didn't like it, because obviously it's impossible that you like 
something that you spend 3,000 pounds, you hit at 10 kilometers per hour or even less. It's normal that you are not happy with it and you don't want it. And even obviously yeah, because if you the put, quality is not good enough. Yeah, and if you put side by side with something that costs three times less and you enjoy more that thing that costs you yeah. three times less, you, you start thinking why I'm spending so much money because it's, it's definitely not worth it. They just accept to send him the money because they are scared that this video was coming out. I'll be able to, you can send me that email and yeah. I can share with you guys and asking for an unbiased review that if the unbiased review was not coming out, they will give him the money back. And he's lucky that he know me yeah. because if he didn't know me, he will never get his money back. I think he's not the best attitude as a brand. I don't care if they don't want to work with me anymore because obviously I don't want to work with a company like this. And yeah, you can't promote that. Exactly. It's too bad. It's really, really bad. And I, I work with other companies before and they had also bad attitudes with me or with my followers and I completely removed those videos because I, that's not what I want for the channel. Do you want to say anything else about this skateboard? It's, a, it's just a huge disappointment and I never want to see it again <laughs> ah by the Simple. way another thing but so now anyway it's been like a struggle to get your refund yeah yeah so they want that someone check it for you yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, you send an email like i said to you to send yeah about the um, if they receive in that place in that place that you, they want you to send it to check it out you just want your refund back yeah straight away yeah so what the answer to you? Well, they, they wanted it inspected first before they even talked about any sort of return process. They asked me to send it to their technician and I, I, I agreed. I said, yeah, I'll send it to your technician. But once it's with your technician, that's it. I don't want to see this board again. I want to talk about when you're going to give me this refund. And then that was when they said what we just talked about with they basically don't do re refunds <laughs> unless you unless you know a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> Not a superstar, but... Uh, because they are scared about it. Because first of all, there is not a lot of reviews or basically none reviews there's hardly of this any. one. Yeah, there's a couple in Australia, but that's it. And uh, and yeah, I understand why they were scared that this video could come out because there is basically nothing out there because it's so expensive for them for sure to produce this yep. because they have much more moving parts than the Endeavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I understand in a certain way the cost, but in the same time, I can see there is a lot of short cor uh, corners that they they cut co uh, costs uh, in many different places. Yeah, I think so. If I flip it up for you, you can see what what is this tiny little plate here? How is that supposed to structurally reinforce any sort of mm. leverage or movement? You know, it's ridiculous. And I think that's a corner cutting cost. We can turn this one up and see how how is build up. When you look here, you can say now, oh, but that is the same thing. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> but the difference is all this bottom part of the skateboard is attached to this part that you love to put your feet. Yeah. And it's twice as thick. Yeah, exactly. It's twice as thick. It has more angle of the folds which will increase the strength. This is just just cheese. <laughs> we saw by the 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 yeah. the heat. I'm a bit upset. Yeah. We wanted to do more riding, but the next if you, if the you, next you pebble against, that I hit if you hit against the, the, it the grass. <laughs> yeah. It will get damaged more uh, than more. I was I was happy. I mean, I, I wasn't happy with the power delivery. It had insane power, but you know, this jerking backwards and forwards with the braking while you're accelerating and I was just going to throw the controllers in the bin and put yeah. <laughs> Put just a put a vesk in there and be happy mm -hmm. but you can't do that if you can't have any trust in, in the chassis in bending immediately if they could even copy almost what they've done in here and they will have already a much better solution and another thing that i don't like so much is how much exposes all this so if you hit something it's easy to bend one of these very moving easy parts these the the top parts here they, they were made to bend first which is what bashaboard told me I can understand that you need a, a, a fail safe it, it's your, to protect the more expensive components but they didn't even bend on this small scale impact it was the main bulkhead that bent that's a no-no for me big no just go propel <laughs> because there is no much much more options In on fact, the market and propel <laughs> send me one of these please <laughs> my name is marco this is zach i hope that you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you guys if you enjoyed this video if you want to say something about Propel, uh, Baja board, uh, if you have a Baja board, what was your experience? Leave in the comments below. But uh, I hope to see you in the next one. So do I.